storm and heartbreaking aftermath now blamed for at least 22 deaths. But the danger from high waters remains in Houston and other parts of the Texas Gulf Coast, where the governor says 24,000 troops will respond. We have team coverage tonight with the latest on rescue efforts. Weather alert meteorologist Jennifer Zeppelin looks at where the storm is heading next. And 3 News Now reporting Nick Starling on Omaha's preparations in case any of the evacuees come here. Let's begin with Nick. Craig, Jen, it's really just a wait and see approach as officials here in Omaha get the call and whether or not those evacuees from Hurricane Harvey do come here. One by one, evacuees walk off the plane into a bus at Epley Airfield in 2005 as victims of Hurricane Katrina call Omaha home for a bit. It's this scenario that could be repeated with Hurricane Harvey. We're ready. We're always ready. Douglas County health officials prepare for the influx of evacuees if and when they come. And there's an awful lot of unknown, so as many things as we can control, we, we want to control those. Be ready. Spokesman Phil Rooney said they're not sure what to expect and who could come, but have the Katrina president as a roadmap of what to do. We're probably going to have to inspect a shelter. Uh, there'll be food safety issues. There are going to be people who come here and left their homes without medication that they're going to need. Some of those are people with chronic illnesses. Some of them may be dealing with a current illness. So there are just um, a number of things that we have to start looking for, you know, where can we find medication for people who need it. Also on standby is the Douglas County Emergency Management who trained for scenarios like this one. This is the type of thing that uh, when we need to get a hold of people, we can get a hold of them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And while evacuees took shelter in the now demolished Civic Auditorium, Paul Johnson says there's plenty of places around the city to house the people. A, a variety of locations around town and uh, some of those are, are like our community centers and uh, so we've we've had reception of evacuees before or we've had to do temporary sheltering. Even if evacuees aren't coming right now, it doesn't mean the city won't get the call later. The needs of people come here are likely to be many and uh, this disaster is probably going to be going on for a long time. Now I'm told there are about six cities that are on standby for those evacuees. Omaha is not on this list. However, I'm told it could be the next six cities on that list. I just got a call from the Omaha Housing Authority who took in 100 people during Hurricane Katrina, and she tells me that they are willing and able to do that again if they get the call. Reporting in downtown Omaha, Nick Starling, 3 News Now.